hello. Welcome to our society, nature and technology class. Our reference will be the book of Takashiro Akitsu entitled Environmental Science Society, Nature and Technology. This session discusses case studies on the relationships of environmental economics with the chemistry of environmental science and contemporary environmental issues. Environmental problems have the following characteristics. Wide area and long term, cause and effect complexity, uncertainty of reasons and results, victims or and perpetrators are unspecified, and stakeholder relationship is not clear. Moreover, population increase may be a problem whose difficulty of social consensus can be considered as a trade-off. So pollution, for example, water pollution from mines or factories has a relationship with heavy metals like in Japan. No? As for mines, uh, the ashu, for example, ashu copper mine, resulted in agricultural damage along what Watarasi River. And the Itai Itai disease no? was reported along Sincho River. As for factory catalyst, Minamata disease around Minamata Gulf resulted in bioaccumulation and the second Minamata disease around Angano River is ascribed to factory damage. However, some heavy metals play a good role in environmental maintenance. Three-way catalysts convert automobile exhaust gases using heavy metal in which catalyst poison regeneration sometimes inhibits gas reaction. In this way, it may be necessary for the sustainability of the society to control pollution, mainly by circulating or circulation, recycling, and reduction. Although they are not uh, always be the best action to be taken due to the cost and energy involved. Economically, Kuznet curve is used to explain that development of the capitalist economy broadens social inequality. The difference eventually shrinks naturally and inequality is correct. So when we talk about risk that is equals to the environmental impact, okay, uh, vertical times the population and GDP, GDP, no? or the gross domestic product, or horizontal, or it could be categorized as risk as a equals to hazard or the degree of the hazard. Uh, times the exposure, no? the amount of exposure or the probability of exposure. When it comes to legal reg regulation, technology improvement, large consumptions may be developed for a sustainable society considering these things. First, protect renewable resource speed. Second, use sustainable resources. Third, contamination should be below the purification rate of nature. Economic per perspectives should also be discussed, such as market failure. If there is no supply and demand, it is difficult to assign a price to goods. The second one is the external risk economies. Regulations, taxation, subsidies. And the other one is course curing. Okay. Uh, 
questions regarding privacy, no? private questions, voluntary negotiations, fund allocations, and there we have emissions trading, common uh, tragedy, prisoner's dilemma, decision making by information. Even if a social disaster is caused by environment that has been destroyed by pollution, it is important to seek the economic uh, rationality of the socio-economic activities related to it. Take note of the ashu copper mine, mineral pollution incident. Uh, it is a pollution incident of the ashu copper mine in Japan which originated from the early Meiji period of the late 19th century in the Watarasi River, area of uh, Toguchi and Gudma prefectures. Tanaka Shusu noted that smoke due to the development of the copper mine polluted the air, polluted the air and water, and that other harmful substances brought significant changes in the surrounding environment and affected the statesman of Tuchige since 1890, leading to many problems in the country. However, ashes smelters continued to run until the 1980s. The Minamata disease was an occupational disease that broke out in the city of Minamata in the Kumamoto prefecture in 1956. The disease was named after the city's name in 1957 and was continued if there was a similar outbreak. The source of the disease was methyl mercury compounds that entered the food chain through environment and affected the central nervous system of humans when they consume food. The second incidence of Minamata disease was caused by water of the Agano River in the Nigata Prefecture. The river water was contaminated with, with mercury released with wastewater of the Shua Dinko Shen. A professor of Nigita University examined two pieces suspecting mercury poisoning and gave his first official confirmation of Minamata disease on May 31, 1965. Alusio was filed in early 1967 for the victims of Nigata Minamata and the plaintiffs won the case. Yukachi asthma was caused by the air pollution arising in the adjacent areas of Yukachi, such as the May Prefecture and the Southern Migan Kusunoki, Kusunoki Chu, during the period of high economic growth in 1960 to 1970. The Yukaichi asthma around the Yukaichi Petrochemical Complex in May took a political shape as the victims had to appeal to the courts to save their health because the national and local governments were reluctant to take measures as that would have adversely affected the economic growth. This was one of the four major diseases caused by pollution in Japan. Itai Itai disease occurred in the Tuyama prefecture and was caused by the untreated wastewater that was released from the zinc mine of Gamoika of the Gifu Prefecture in the Zinso River Basin. 
This disease was another on Japan's pollution-related blight as it mainly led to multiple proximal urinary tubules function disorder and osteomalacia and long-term chronic disease were induced by Kajo. If an environmental problem affects a wide area of the earth and causes problems and damage, it is referred to as a global environmental problem. The following are often mentioned as the main global environmental problems. Number one here is air pollution. This is due to the industrialization growth and vehicle as well as acid rain. The other one is water pollution, which is caused by industrial wastewater, domestic sewage, and contaminated soil. Another problem is the ozone layer depletion which is due to the freon gas emission. Global warming caused by emissions of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, rise of the sea level, and permafrost melting. The destructions of ecosystem and loss of biodiversity caused by various developments. And of course, the land uh, development causing a large impact on natural and plantation. Also, when this environmental effects spread across borders, bigger problems arise, environmental damage or destruction spreading to other countries becomes a global environmental problem and requires measures within the international framework for us. Human population, as what we have observed nowadays, gradually started increasingly after the World War II in 1950, but suddenly soared in the late 19th century, in the 21st century, resulting in population explosion. In 1900, the world's population was approximately 1.65 billion. In 1950, there were 2.5 billion people. And 50 years later, in 2000, there were approximately 6.1 billion people in the world. That is the population was more than double. As per the estimates of the United Nations Population Fund in 2011, the population was at its peak with 4 billion people. So we need sustainability. When it comes to sustainability, it refers to the long-term use of bioresources, particularly forestry and fishery resources. Main levels of economic activity and social welfare is sustainable in the long term if broadly defined natural resource consumption and environmental pollution are controlled properly. It is a relationship in which one is compelled to make a sacrifice on one hand while seeking a trade-off on the other. One has to consider all the pros and cons of specific alternatives in situations where trade-offs are required to make decisions. The three-way catalyst helps in converting harmful substances contained in automotive exhaust, 
hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxide. The hydrocarbons are oxidized to water and carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide is oxidized to carbon dioxide. And nitrogen oxides are reduced to nitrogen gas. It is platinum, palladium, and rhodium, which are the key active components used in this catalytic converters. Next is desire and demand. Desire and demand are prerequisites for purchasing goods, which also depends on the appetite of the consumers. The relationship between price and demand is generally called supply and demand curve, which shows the higher prices reduce demand. Other economic activities involve supply and delivery of goods and services. One can make out from the supply curve how the sale of motivated uh, producers is affected. A supply curve shows the relationship between price and supply. The right of the curve shows that the supply increases as the price goes up. The indices help in studying the economic conditions comprehensively as they include the trends in economic activities. There are two types of indices. The diffusion index, which tells about the economic aspects by combining changes in the direction of the number of economic indicators. And the composite index, which aims to understand the economic trends in quantitative data. To conclude, environmental population is not a new phenomenon, yet it remains the world's greatest problem facing humanity and the leading environmental cause of morbidity and mortality. Man's activities through urbanization, industrialization, mining, and exploration are at the forefront of global environmental pollution. Both developed and developing nations share this burden together through awareness and stricter laws in developed countries have contributed to a larger extent in protecting their environment. Despite the global attention towards pollution, the impact is still being felt due to its severe long-term consequences. Our natural environment makes human life possible and our cultural environment helps define who we are. It is therefore essential that our population and economic growth are environmentally sustainable. The most positive outlook for environment is one in which we get the balance right between continuing to support and implement effective policies, programs, and resources. For instance, community engagement and volunteering programs, biodiversity conservation strategy, the RIF sustainability plan, terrestrial ecosystem research network, environmental and natural resources, marine protected areas, indigenous protected area programs. Further, developing, testing, and as appropriate, implementing innovative approaches and initiatives that are currently being developed. For example, policies, technologies, and management that are decoupling the, econ the economy from environmental harm environmental economic accounting and valuation, initiatives to reduce plastic pollution in coastal 
and marine environments. Initiative to reduce air pollutants in urban areas. Another one. Developing and implementing new policies, processes, programs, and tools in the medium to longer term, including the further integration of policies and management approaches across jurisdictions and sectors. For instance, the green or blue economy approaches, development of a sophisticated impact investment market, regulatory reform, to provide for rapid response to new incursion of potentially harmful invasive species and diseases. So with that, thank you very much for your attention. Good day. Music